start this up. Alright. Yes, 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 yes. I'm almost saying you're my son, Mark, with son. Don't ask. It's a very, very strange moment. All right, let me pull this stuff together. There, everything's pulled together that I need to pull together. Get this in here. Come on, son. That's not Once more. Once more with feeling, once more with raspberries. Okay, I heard sound. That makes me happy. What is that? What is that awkward black bar below my screen? And then I stop it. Oh right, my desk chair that is too high. Anyway, take a quick stretch while we wait for folks Keep to run on in. Three, two, one, go! Alternate bringing your knees up to touch the ring con. Be mindful of your body and stretch within the range of your ability. Last time. All right. Good. Next is the heel lift stretch. Bring the insides of your ankles up toward the ring con. This stretch can help make your hips more flexible. Last time. Yes, just like that. Next is the back straightening stretch. Take a big step forward and drop your hips. Focus on lowering your body without putting too much weight on your front foot. Be sure to keep your lower back straight. Let's do one more of each. All right. Good. There Finally, we go. spread your feet. Raise the ring con above your head and lean to the side. Focus on leaning to the side without bending forward. This should stretch both the muscles in your sides and in your arms. Let's do one more of each. Oh, there we go. Great job. Yeah, it's on max volume. Just can't hear it over the air conditioner running. Oh no, I fear. What did I leave off on? What did? Oh, normal stuff. That's strange. I never leave myself off on normal things. Whew. All right. Pop it, pop, 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 pop. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Huh. What's a thud? <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh. What? Sir. What? Oh. Tell me you're drinking a smoothie.
man's not right. Hello, Joe. Geo, Joe. Robert said. Water do be tasty. I'm on the wrong metric. I'm a, I want to be on a... Uh, red herrings. Red herrings and stadium lights. Not that one. I'm not going to get that one. Yeah, water do be tasty. Granted, like every adult in this day and age... Like every adult in this day and age, you know, I occasionally have an energy drink, but that's what the only thing I have that deviates from water anymore. And even then, most energy drinks that you can that you have nowadays, or at least that I have nowadays, are those ones that are at like no calories. Or if they do have calories, it's like 20 for the entire can. But anyway, I'm going to switch this over to this, not that, that. But I hope you're doing well today, Gio. Six-ish months ago, we were here in the regular story, and this world was like the hard, like a super hard peak point for the game. Not because of the exercises I had to do, because I basically have been focusing on ab exercises to help with my waistline, but. Just, it was hard because of the challenges that were within it. Also because of... Uh, what is it? Also because the whole ghostly children thing was super weird. But hey, they're, they're living children now. Welcome to New Game Plus. <laughs> So, standard ring fit. Oh, your Not so hard. as I push a belch on me, fun. <laughs> and another one, even. Third one, excuse me. Or as I should be saying, sweet my son. Because you know, learning Japanese and all that jazz. Okay, let's move. Um. Wow. 
You tell my brain fired in all cylinders. I forgot what I was going to say. Nine, ten seconds ago. Okay. I remember now. And I want to ask, because I don't... I haven't had an opportunity to be in a voice call with friends and ask them, the ones who have played the game. But I have been curious about... I have been a little curious about Pokemon Unite. Basically, from what it looks like, as advertised effectively. Sorry, I'm looking over some battle scars from today's work. Uh, as was advertised, effectively, Pokemon, but League of Legends. Or League of Legends, but Pokemon. And I've just been curious how people have enjoyed it. Miss that. Whatever it was. You got it. <laughs> Probably the first medal. Anyway. Cause as I pride myself in being and as I try to say a lot, um I always try and try every game once, especially if it's something that's free, which I think that game is. So like, if a game is free, I'll definitely play it, to at least try it, for the most part. I have a few, there's some games I have reservations on, just from appearances, but just because, surprise, the Nintendo, the Nintendo fan wants to play the Pokemon game. I've just been curious how people have been liking it. I've seen one outsider review, so to say. I don't know if he was... Because he is a Nintendo ambassador of, ambassador, ambassador of sorts. So, him saying that he played it for, nothing to downgrade, uh, him saying that he played the game for four or, four or six hours, whatever it was, doesn't mean much to me. Like, I want somebody who's, you know, a quote-unquote average Joe. You know, your average smoke on the street who maybe plays mobile games, maybe plays Pokemon games, maybe plays both. I would kind of like to hear their take on how the game is. I'm going to avoid that for now because I'm probably going to kick my own butt. Basically, unless I absolutely need to use it to KO something, I'm not going to use the mountain climbers. I'd rather avoid having to use my hands to prop myself up with. Because you can't see it too well. Uh, warning. Minor warning for blood and scars, I guess. Even though this, this healed up within 10 minutes of it happening. Can you even see it on the can? You can't. Because I'm angling my hand wrong? Oh, there it is. So I'm not going to get any closer, but yeah, I got a nice little cut along my hand today from an exposed uh, tin wire, we'll say. It, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts, but it does not hurt as much as bad as it looks. But, but then again, with that in mind, I'd rather avoid having something where I have to prop myself up with my hands if possible. Again, not saying I'm avoiding it, I'm not going to do it. Just, I don't want this cut to get worse.
can switch sides. Don't forget to switch legs. So he gets to loop back around to something that isn't my, me complaining about my own well-being, we'll say. I'm just curious what, what the uh, general consensus is on that game, on Pokemon Unite. I guess the main thing I would like to know if I were to play it is because it is free to play, how hard do they push the costumes or the purchase full of cosmetic stuff or whatever? Because every game that's free has something that they try and entice the player to spend money on that has no sway on the player's ability to beat the game or win. So like, is it the type of game where it's every single time you open the app, you get an ad, but then it doesn't do it anymore after that? Is it the type of game where if you go into the shop, it, it pops up the ad? Or the upgrade menu or anything like that? Or is it the type of game where every single time you go to the home screen, it, it has to flash on an advertisement saying, by the way, can you, can you, did you know you can buy this costume? The latter of those three options are games I tend to avoid. Goal! Now turn your exercise into experience points. I tend to avoid those the, the, the latter of those three just because those kinds of games are very, usually have very terrible business practices built into them. Like even more so than standard gotcha affair. Let's check it. Lightly cover the IR motion camera with the pad of your right thumb, as shown. Measuring. Please do not move your thumb. Oh. Very light for now. It's a good warm up. Oh look, it's shopping time. Don't ask me if I want to stop. Thank you. like to I'll buy the blue skeleton because recovering hearts with repeated knee lifts that's uh you know that's not a terrible thing that's not a terrible thing to have that's not like a boo-boo baby thing if, if you if we were one to were to call it that that's not gonna ruin the game that's not gonna make the game easier to have basically health recovery when throughout the normal gameplay but the but the thing the thing that the game pushes way too much is you know you know running speed increased no don't don't make the running easier don't like Offer a boon to the player that doesn't make the game easier overall. That just makes the game boring. At least in my opinion. I guess it depends upon the game. Like a game like this where you're working out, I would I would like to say, you know. Okay. Oop, wait, hold on, I almost forgot. Now I can now that I can use them. Uh-oh. -huh. But yeah, like, a game like this that's trying to make you work out, you know, don't, don't make the game easier in the aspect of the main part of working out, which is to have, you know, repeated exercise to get you healthy. But... Yeah. 
Basically, don't don't give the player a lazy, easy way out of it, everything. I guess we're going to do more Warrior 2 poses. And I guess I'm not like the... I'm not the end-all be-all for something like that, you know. There could be people that people want to play this game who are playing an easy and just want the game to go by as quick as possible. So something that increases their running speed would make the game just that, experience the game's story without having to do all the exercise. But somebody who's playing this as a distraction from the fact they're exercising? No. I play this to trick my mind. I play this to trick my, to trick my mind into the fact that I'm playing a video game, not so much working out. Whew. I don't want to say, like, you know. And I can tell you for a fact that I know I've been slacking a lot on working out. But it's more associated with how I want to work out versus the time I have to work out. I guess it's just a whole bag of worms I'm gonna open right now. So. Last weekend and, last weekend and Tuesday and Wednesday night, this week, I spent recording uh, recording all the Think Fast, all the Think Fast videos I've kind of have been backlogging for about three weeks now, and basically I kind of got on my own case to, to do. Okay, you need to record all these videos because if you don't, you're gonna fall behind. You're not gonna be able to do them. On top of the fact that Perfect. after this week you have to go back to Good. regular that recording routine. Going. Okay, I can do mountain climbers here. And by the way, I should say, regular recording routine, me, you know, going back to my record five videos worth of content on one day, edit them at some point in the weekend to upload on Sunday, Sunday through, Sunday through Tuesday, repeat that cycle. But because I got so much done with master mode and Ocarina Time, I was able to do all my, uh, do the, that extra think fast stuff in the block I would normally record my normal, my normal weekly stuff. Because if I re record any more weekly stuff, if I record weekly stuff now, all that's going to happen is going to be more than a full month ahead of when videos go live, and I don't try and get that far ahead. Three and a half weeks, it's about my, it's about the good spot to be ahead on anything. At least for me. Somebody else may be more akin to do a week in advance with all their stuff, if that. That used to be me. That stopped being me a while ago. and start opening up again. Yeah, 
Okay, well, I pushed down, but sure. Have at it, game. Game. The name is my feet. You did it. Ah, hitbox game number two. Electric Boogaloo. Watching the horizon for it to go a little bit more, but I guess not. Um. You know, what? I'm gonna change it up. We're gonna do this for a little bit. But yeah, the um, what is it? part is for the most part you know a while ago Amazing. with this whole you know three and a half ish okay. weeks ahead of whatever went live that day I used to be the person that was in the minority you know everybody was like oh Great. most advanced I'll record anything is like a week and it's if I know I have a vacation coming up well done. Sharp. but nice. as of now I'm starting to become, I'm starting to fall into the majority category, but like, almost everybody that, almost everybody that I watch when it comes to content now, you know, whoever I watch on YouTube, people who I watch for content, a lot of their stuff, they record it in like big block schedule, they spend like eight hours a day recording it, they edit some of it out and down, and they spend, and they do that for like, once or twice a week, every other week. And that is, like I said, you know, they're starting to fall into where I've been thriving for the last five years of, you know, they record it three, three, three and a half weeks in advance. And then they upload it much later on. Or schedule the upload like I do. So, again, I'm not in the realm of I'm not exactly a perfect specimen with this because I've been doing it for much longer than it's been the norm. But I'm definitely in the norm at this point. And as I said before, the only reason, the only reason I record, I do, the only reason I record that far in advance is in the unlikely event that I, well, especially now because I've got war, <laughs> I've got. War, well, I got war scars from work at this point. Like if anything were to happen to me at my job, or were to happen to me, or would happen with my physical health in any capacity, you know, I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to be trying to hit, you know, record a game with one hand bandaged up, you know, playing like this with one hand, and you kind of get it. Or have to make a video that says, "Hey." So, I kind of messed up. And I can't play games until this heals. Or have to come on a video and go, Okay. 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 Play game. I'll tell you like this. Jack Rack next week. Next week for uploads. God, I sound like I was 
That's probably the fakest sick I've ever had to fake in my life. seeing a bit of loose skin that's going to drive me bonkers if I don't handle it now. Welcome to my brain. Anyway. Um, so anyway, other things to chat about. Now, I don't have the game in question. But, as of with the other day's announcement for Guilty Gear Strive DLC... I think if I were to play Guilty Gear, I think I found a character I want to play as. Gold, <laughs> like oddly enough, I would love. I think I would love to play as the character Gold Lewis. I didn't know that character. I don't know if that's a new character or if that's a returning or if that's a new returning character to the series. But. That seems like the character I would love. Just has long reach, big boy, so you can hit him from a long way, way too. You know, ba the balance and all and all things, and just stupid gimmicks off the wazoo. Just. Just hang on, let me get the assist from my Eldritch Horror that's, that I keep stored in this coffin on my back. Oh, by the way, he's cool if he's swinging, swinging him around like a mace. Or I should say, it's cool. Just a little more. Oh, not mace, flail. Listen, the nerds of the world would have would have a riot if someone called a flail a mace. And vice versa. They're like hit they're like hidden little rep spots. These coins. These coins are there just to kinda hide a rep system within this whole position. Drop your hips. Victory! Anyway. Apparently, I'm flatlining. Eh. I don't need to know it that bad. So, one's experience, one is money. I think the experience is on the left. Let me see if I can make any make any uh, experience doublers. I can make a dragon fruit. Let's see. I can make money doublers. I need carrots for the experience doublers. Okay, so I can't get any double experience here, but oops, that one. Let me make some more of these because I'm running out, and it looks like I might need to go buy some more sesame seeds. Are you ready? Squeeze! Keep squeezing! Oh, 
And if I can, maybe buy some black tea leaves. Last one. Maybe I'll, maybe before I do these battles, I'll go take a jaunt over to the store and see what I can see what I can buy. Let's see. Black tea leaves. Black tea leaves and sesame seeds. Let's take a quick walk over to the store. Oh. Hi. Do you have drink? Uh, ingredients? So do you carry sesame seeds? Or, or black tea leaves? You carry sesame seeds. Oh. Money is not so much the issue. You do not carry black tea leaves. Nor do you carry pumpkins that we need for the other one. I won't do that for a little bit, the uh, double up thing. But, let's get our money, money. Money! Let's see, so. Big blast of this pumpkin soup. Mmm, drinking my soup. And then let's get down here to the double up on. Uh, yeah, the double double on the banana shake. That must be a horrendous tasting combination. I like how I'm zoomed out up where you can see the contortion in my face. Just imagine the level of facial contortion Jim Carrey has. That's what I'm saying. That must taste horrid though. Going from a pumpkin soup to banana shake. Bitter, bitter, it's almost slime consistency soup. Too, too sweet, cold. Yeah, I'm gonna stop describing it because it's I'm making myself sick by, by talking about it more. Okay, damages. Now then, what is my most damaging spread move? 430, 510, 510. Well, I need to do more of this anyway. This doesn't matter in the end. <sighs> yeah, probably closer to 52 times. Oh, hey, it's a it's a cool it's a bit of a cool down exercise.
Whew. All right, this is gonna be hard because of the fog, and my reaction time is garbage. Damn it. Awesome work. Uh, work on I need to get the jump. I need to get the duck at the combat jump. Oh, shoot. <sighs> okay. Woo. Damn it. We might be doing this one again. You'll get points for hovering over long distances. Definitely doing this one again. <sighs> Especially you get that bonus. There, my reaction time, he came back to some minor degree. Uh, I, op I opened my mouth, by the way. Ooh. I opened my mouth and said something. Damn it. It happened again. <laughs> okay, jumping early better than not jumping at all right here. And I'm free, free falling. There, I feel better about that. That's definitely an A. <laughs> Do you see how confident I was? I got up from the chair before it even gave me my rank. <sighs> my bonus was money, which admittedly is not the best bonus, but whatever. Now, we're not going to get our prize until we finish another round of combat. <laughs> Draw your weapon, Knave. Unfortunately, I don't have anything that doubles up experience right now. So we're just going to come straight down here to the banana shake again. Mm, banana. Almost like I'm saying ananas, which is how every language but America says pineapple. Ananas. 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 Pineapple. America, you want to try again? No. Pineapple. Fair enough. America is stupid.
Oh. We're done with that. So, I was 560. I want to do uh, these. It's 390. I think we'll be okay. I think this should be enough. I think anyway. I told I, nice. I told story how I've been lacking but no I have told story I have definitely told story about how I've been lacking in my okay. daily exercise slash training regimen for the, with this game recently and I can definitely feel it I can feel it a little bit like I'm not losing I'm not losing a ton of muscle and really only because of my new job that I retain what muscle I have. But I can tell that I haven't been playing this enough because I'm stretching muscles that I didn't even knew, didn't even know were problems that I hadn't stretched until now. be enough power. I think what is it part of my issue for what is it I think I'm just more or less discovering new muscles at work oddly enough with the uh, work I do oh I can't oh no I don't need to make it I need to drink it let me consume um yeah there's ooh another paradigm nice was it? I'm working on new muscles, and I'm not moving. I'm not moving as much as my old job that I was, but I'm moving more consistently in my new job. When I am doing certain bits of activities, like you know, my old job, I was book it five minutes down and back to one end of the building to the other, and then stop for like ten minutes because I need something to do. And do it again. My current job, even though it's not very far, I'm always moving some part of my body. I'm constantly moving, basically. It doesn't have an incentive based pay kind of thing, but the work moves as fast, the work goes as fast as you go. And though you aren't penalized or rewarded for going above or below what's asked of you in a day, I definitely try and stay at the margin or above the margin for work expected workload. my arm for a minute like I gotta ask you know is it just me that's that kind of person you know I enjoy an easy time at work too I enjoy easy going at work you know clock in at when I'm supposed to clock in do what I do what I have to do to get do the bare minimum to get my job done and then clock out you know I'm not against that kind of thing but I'm also the kind of person where if there's work to do, I do my hardest to do the work 
So that way I can either A, create an opportunity where there's no work I can do so I can slough off, or B, get so much work done that my reward potentially is the easier jobs down the line. Again, I'm, I realize my uh, way of thinking is not exactly foolproof. But I like to think that somewhere, I like to think that somewhere, some supervisors appreciate that work ethic to an extent because it's just like, you know, they worked until there was nothing left to work on. Let's see, do I try it? Did it! New best! Why is it in the most fog covered area I do the best I've ever done this game? Shoot the moon! I shot the moon! Why is it? Why is the CAA in my door? Why are they asking me about Area 51? Guava. Lava guava. I, that sounds like something that should, would be like a thing in a E10. E10 video or RPG. A, a, a guava lava or lava guava. Yes, I heard you sing. And you have a lovely baritone singing voice. I don't even know what I'm singing, I'm just pulling notes out of the air, trying to make a catchy tune. Oh! Uh oh. Only yellow skills, huh? What is my flanks? What was this first one? Russian twist? Okay. Alright, let's we'll start with Russian Twist and we'll kind of run through the multi target ones until I get down to single target, uh, one target left behind. Which, hold on, before I do this. If I'm gonna do planks at some point, I need something to protect my elbows. As I, say, and as I say multiple times whenever I do these streams, if you're going to play Ring Fit, invest in something to protect your elbows from either your carpeting or hardwood floors. Do whatever you're going to work out. Trust me, the scars on my elbow from not doing it don't lie.
I don't know why I thought I could just sit down still. No idea why I thought I could just still sit on the ground and finish this exercise. This isn't my this isn't my daily I'm not at work routine to keep myself healthy. Uh, mega attack? Never mind. But we save these for later. Is it plank time? I think it's plank time. So, again, I only say this for people that might be might be uh, playing along at home. If you're going to do planks, please invest in some kind of yoga mat, even a cheapo ten dollar one. Something. Your elbows will thank you when you don't when you aren't bleeding from them and have scars to show for the fact that you didn't use a mat to help you save your elbows. I guess worst case scenario, if you have to, go get a pillow. <laughs> Oh. Huh. They weren't done yet. Damn it. I thought it was get gone over. Definitely the next one I'm gonna do. But give me one second. Always have water nearby. Huh. 
Finish off the little guy with this one. <sighs> Down we go again. Why'd you reward me for failing? <laughs> Doing this after a day of work when I'm not used to the repetition, really kind of taking it out of me. Cool, it'll still probably take me a couple weeks to get used to my current work schedule and have my brain set in a pattern so I can do more than come home and veg or do nothing. I signed up for this going to the ab place okay. and doing all these ab related things in the ab kingdom after a day of work. But allow me to complain that after doing physical labor all day, I'm not exactly bumping and jiving Excellent. to be doing 
all of this working out immediately following a full day at work. And currently my body is screaming at me in loud volumes, stop, go eat food, you're starving, oh for the love of god, eat something. But nope, press on. I've done. It's only at half health. Oh, guys, now you're at half health. You're still above half health. If they ever do a ring fit too, Excellent. something I would like for them to add in the Great. lower left Perfect. corner timer there, you know, the miles, calorie okay. burn, and Amazing. time spent in your session. For the adventure mode, well done. I would like Wonderful. them to add a time in stage function. Good job. Awesome. Just to see if their calculation matches up, or their rough approximation matches up with what you're actually doing. Man, that's a lot of time left in that one. Whew. All right. 
Quick water break. My abs are rightfully killing me right now. I'm trying to think of what the uh, guesstimation was, or at least like the time value guesstimation that they had there. They said about 13 minutes. And I think I came in here at like 21 to 23 minutes on my timer. So another five, six minutes of this. All right, uh, station required break time is over. Okay, let's move. Target your abs with this. Well done. Nicely done. Yes, yes. Amazing. All right. In this is Santia. Oh god. What I did five and already winded again. Well then again. I haven't eaten anything since like I haven't eaten anything since quarter after yeah. Since quarter after eleven. And it's currently six o'clock. Actually, it's almost 10 after 6. My body's trying to pull from fumes right now, which is a bad move. Bad news bears is the worst. for a second and I guess even before that before I had my single sandwich at lunch the only thing I ate before that was some cottage cheese at about 9.30 last night so yeah sans sandwich for lunch I'm effectively I'm effectively going 21 hours without a meal. Oops. The game is more like it. Hey, jokes! Perfect. That's all I'm gonna be able to crack. That's my one joke per social media appearance of the per, per day. <laughs> uh, I can't think of the name of the band anymore. That song is by. If you ever want to listen to the song with the actual instrumentation and without my horrible singing while exasperated, 
look up the aforementioned Love of the Game song. Sad part is I haven't, I don't think I've listened to that song in like three years, but it's been stuck in my head for the past three days. I can't get that song, of course, that song out of my head. Not Shine Down. Well, it's one of those bands that are like. Well done. It's one of those bands that. Once you know the history behind. Once you know the history behind them and, and their message, it's very obvious that they're a Christian band. But because they're so careful, they so carefully word their music. You, if you don't know their, ba their background, you would not think they're a Christian band at all. It's one of those bands. Gosh, it's gonna drive me bonkers. It's gonna drive me up that wall. It's gonna drive me up that wall, that wall, this wall, the wall behind you. It's gonna drive me up the walls. It might be Pillar. Yeah, I think I think the, it is the, by the band called uh, named Pillar. Very nice. I will get confirmation for myself in just a minute. All right. I'm just going to try and speed through this ref now. Very nice. Now that I've got a burst of speed, well a burst of stamina, a burst of yes. adrenaline, that's the one. Yes. Keep it up. Ten more. Good job. Nice. Nice. Okay. You got it. I'm waiting for the mega ab guard. Where I have to squat while also doing this motion. You can feel it in your stomach, not your arms. <sighs> okay. Push it. Take a break if you need. Well, I have a moment. Yep, it is. It's for the love of the game by Pillar. And I had to go on YouTube to look that up. And of course, when you go on YouTube to look up anything, your recommendation shows you something you want to see. So I had to load something into another tab for me to watch after the stream. Curation's getting better on Hot Hub. Not a lot, but it's getting better.
course you did. After I used my spread attack. A tough one, but you can do it. I I don't got any for any more planks. I know that for certain. And this is not going to do me any better. Two or three gimmies, so I did two or three extra. I need to retighten my pants. <laughs> my pants are trying to make a one-way trip to the floor. see anything terrible this is retightening my pants because my waistline I've, my waistline has starting to firm up from the exercise I'm doing <sighs> okay the comedy will write itself there Hoplin plus D I say comedy, somebody else says, that's rule 34, and I say, you're probably right. And then I will continue to focus the boss down. Whew. Yeah, that's, not, that's hurting. Sorry, I'm looking at my battle, my battle wound from earlier today. Gonna need to get some peroxide on that before, before I go to bed tonight. Heavy as hell. Great! Nice! After we finally get done with this, I may take a moment just to take a breather, regain my strength. to distract my mind from the fact we're doing this right now is I bought just to help me with my day-to-day -day workout like if I can't do this ring fit stuff I'll at least go back to what my caused me to lose so much weight way back in the day I bought myself another training elliptical and I bought one that's a little more heavy duty than the one I was using so the last more than like three months Basically, bought another training elliptical so I can go on runs at home. Just like I did two years ago. Fantastic. 
basically going back to the way things were and seeing if a small training elliptical is actually all I need to lose the weight I want or lose the weight all I wanted instead of upgrading for bigger and better things. You know, the fact that I'm so out of breath doesn't speak to as much, probably, but nice. being a 250, when I was at 360 plus, I'm happy with myself. But, okay. keeping myself within that baseline yeah. is something I strive for. And by any means necessary. Huh. Neat. Well, this is just the finish on it. I have to get a closer look at that in a minute. Fine work. Amazing. I just looked up at my shelf where I've got my, uh, where I've stored what I've referred to as my more unique amiibo. And I'm looking at the Marie one. And I'm now noticing that she's got glitter on her. In her dress pattern, rather. So I should get a closer look. So I don't think I ever know, I've yet noticed that in like the, what, five years I've had that thing? I don't think I've looked at it close enough once to be like, oh yeah, that's a pattern. Or that's something that fits. Nice. Again, I'm a, but also to put on the plate, I'm oblivious. Great. I'm oblivious and very forgetful. Sharp. Which is why if you ever look around my workspace, you will see post notes everywhere. Post notes for appointments. Neat. Appointments put into my phone calendar so I don't forget it that way. Pretty sure I've got. A, I'm pretty sure when I have remembered to do so, I've got. I've got birthday reminders for several of my siblings because I can't remember stuff for, for a damn. All right. Nice. Okay. Keep it up. <laughs> Great. Let's keep going. Let's say you're drawing this out much longer than necessary. Your sweat is so shiny and beautiful. Oh, no, she definitely does. There's definitely, there is definitely a bunch of sparkles under, uh, underneath that coat of finish on her. Drop your hips. Victory! Let's do. Let's do a check. Probably won't be very high because it took many, I took many mid rep breaks because of the repeated motions. But we're gonna find out right now, hopefully. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm feeling. I'm feeling some way. I'm not sure if it's good or bad, but I'm feeling some way, Drago. Give me a minute. We're not done yet. This is gonna be kind of a quick five minute breather. While I get some more water in me. To trick my body into thinking it's food. So I can push on for another 20 minutes or so in game time.
and I will dance through the danger. Actually, give me one second. My ears are bothering me. I'm gonna go clean out my ears really quick. Oh, I forget the game and yell at me. Okay. <sighs> Alright, I'm feeling more ready to go again. So, hit B so we continue. I'm feeling ready to, go, to get it again. Like I said, just a quick minute. Just a quick minute to re-up. Re-energize. Eight minutes. I'm not sure how this will play out. Here's my game plan for this. And I'm going to damn myself next Thursday when we play play this game again on stream. But we're going to try we're going to see how long it takes to get from here down to how long it gets to go from this stage to finish that stage at the bottom. If it's like 55 plus minutes, I'll cut things off. If it's 50 minutes and the boss stage only going to take like 10ish, I'll continue on. If the first number is less than like 50 minutes, I'll just push through. Oh god, I want to use more ab exercises. Ah. Oh. Okay, time to run. Oop, almost forgot. Double up. Uh, uh. So. Something else that I remember now that I'm also looking around my room to distract myself to find topics of conversation. So, Score! some of you may know, I've been a frequent, quite frequent, uh, visitor of the Limited Run Games storefront, and I have purchased several titles, uh, several, several limited run titles. <coughs> so, <coughs> one of the collections, one of the, basically they had a rerun of a bunch of collections of games and also a reprint of a game that has only saw print back in like 2000. Uh, basically the entire Shantae series minus Ca uh, Pirate's Curse. But I decided to go in on, go in on it and get you know, the limited run uh, releases of those three games? Yeah, those three games. But I got, I got it all on Switch, but it's got, it's got the first game, the first Shantae Game Boy Color, the Switch version and the Game Boy Color version, Risky's Revenge on Switch, and Though it's kind of redundant, Half Genie Hero on Switch. I got all those major collections because I think I think I'm cementing the fact that I love the Shantae series as my indie go-to series. You know, driven harder by the fact that even though you can barely probably make it out, this red and tan thing up here is Shantae. Shipped to me. All, okay. all four of those items have been shipped to me. 
and I could not cut. Okay. You, you don't know how much relief that gives me to know that Amazing. the thing I bought so long ago for so much is finally Amazing. on its way. Oh. oh, Nort. With your legs bent slightly, squeeze. Much of skill and attack. Back press. <sighs> Would you believe I told you that every part of my body is screaming, me, please okay, stop, please cease. No more. And I am very close to, very, very close to listening to my body. The lazy son of a gun is about to win out the war of attrition. My brain says I should and need to. My body says you've been standing and moving constantly. Since six, since about six twenty this morning, please cease. You have not stopped moving for twelve hours. To which I yell at my body, "Stop demanding sweets, then, and we won't have to live this life." My brain and my body, they fight a lot. Nobody wins. Step forward and two steps back. No matter what I do, you're always mad. And I can't change your mind. Oh, it's like trying to turn around on a one way street. I can't feel you what you want, it's killing me.
good. I can do something a little bit different. Oh, that was it. A little bit different, not a whole lot different. I think... Whew. I think... I think I'm about to... If I haven't already... I'm about to break through that okay, let's move. inhibiting line or that inhibiting wall. Great. Awesome. Like it's just this feeling that it's this feeling that you get in your body constantly well done. when you do stuff, when you do enough working out or enough exercise for so long. Your body's just like, okay, stop. Okay, stop. Okay, stop. Please stop. And then. You keep pushing. Good job. You keep pushing, and all of a sudden your body's like, okay, fine. Here comes the adrenaline. Okay. Hope you like doing this, because we're gonna do this now for another hour. Fine work. And I'm just I can tell I'm just about to break through that wall. Alright! Unfortunately, sure. I don't think there's too much hiding on the other side of that wall. As macabre as it is, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if when I go to clean up after today's workout session, if I go to clean up, okay. my body just goes, all right, well, that was great and all. You used up all the extra energy you had. Amazing. Now it's time to go take a dirt nap in the shower. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Finds dirt on the second floor of a building and above while standing in a porcelain tub. I don't know. It has mysterious ways. Uh huh. Games. Stats. Gentle reminder. Very gentle reminder that this is an RPG. <sighs> I must be able to buy a new skill. Got to be checking. Come on. There you go. Let's say find the find the medium. Find the happy medium. I'm sorry, I can't. I, I can only find disgruntled mediums. Who have foreseen? Who have foreseen? They'll be telling futures for the for the foreseeable future. Da -da 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 -da. So four, four. I think all of my skills cost four right now. So let's buy skills. So what is it? Eight more levels. Eight more levels to finish out this gear grid, or this grid, this uh, skill grid. And it hasn't expanded out even further, which makes me make, makes me heepy. Yeah. I flubbed that pretty hard, but I also, yeah, we'll just, we'll just pretend I meant to say it like that. Alright, another quick cooldown. 
Well, I scope out the competition. 11 minutes? Oh, boy. This might have to be the last. This might be the last one. Oh, wait. Gazelle Channel. Shoot. Okay. I know this level by name. I know this level by name purely because if I decide to go on a run in ring fit instead of out in the real world, real world, real world or soon in on my training elliptical down here. If I decide to go on a run in ring fit, this is like my hat. This is like my middle stage of my running set. And I fear this because even though it says it's, we're not going super far, we're going to be doing a lot of the, uh, it's doing a lot of the, uh, what you call it? I can still snap my fingers with that, with that busted, that busted palm. It's doing a lot of the, um, Gadgets. A bunch of the gadgets and gizmos. Basically, doing on, reps of run. doing reps of exercise to force something to move without you yourself actually moving. So yeah, we'll run for like we'll run for like you know a tenth of a mile. Then we'll get on a gadget. Then we'll run for another tenth of a mile. Then we'll get on another gadget. And I know one of the gadgets in here is a is a lot of squats in quick succession for like two minutes straight. But also a lot of it is this rear rear uh, rear press. Push your rear. I need to adjust this again. Because the crotch of these pants are trying to make friends with my knees. By the way, these are these uh, pajama bottoms. I guess they're more exercise bottoms than anything. These particular exercise bottoms, they are a triple X in size. I currently wear a large. I comfortably wear a large. I guess no, these are then these would be double X. Regardless of that, I wear about a size and a half. I usually wear about for pants, I wear about a size and a half less than my shirt size. Even with her hiked up like this like a grandpa. You don't know, you don't know me. You know me, I could be your grandpa. Scooter, you never uttered a more false statement in your life. Shut up. Okay, let's go. Great, perfect. Very nice. Keep it up.
Good. Perfect. The enemy's disoriented. Oh, damn it. Now's our chance. I was hoping you would stick around. Right. You would not get stunned. I want to do thigh presses. I want to do the thigh press, side press. Side press, thigh press, whatever. Opportunity to do with thigh press has left the building. Like I said, this particular course is at my normal run regimen, so I'm very familiar with it. I think what's going to happen next is we're going to have like a hundred feet to run or jog, and then it's squats. Yep. Okay, more like ten feet. Hold on. I need a breather. I need a quick breather. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have practically emptied the tank at this point. I am I am definitely running on fumes right now. Like to the point of I'm almost passing out running on fumes. But again, and I'm not using this to justify myself, you know, but I do need the state before this, I did a physical labor job today, eight hours, and I kind of put it, I kind of put it all out there today, if not for my battle scars on my hands, to the fact that I would normally have at least another ten minutes of oomph in me, but right now that's not a, that is not the case. Ten in-game minutes too, by the way, not real life minutes. You can call it a John if you will. I'm gonna call it a David. Cause he's about to take on a Goliath. Let's get these squats.
little bit of a free. Oh, I haven't done squats in a while. I have not done squats in a while. I can tell because my right knee hurts. We're not doing these half measure squats. We're doing ass to the grass squats. Yeah, the body yelling at me saying, hey, if you don't stop in the next like five minutes, we're throwing you on the ground. <clears throat> Face first. Although I think we're on, t we're past, the after this fight, we're, we're past the worst of it. it and we can actually Stop. just, I think we kind of, can coast from here, so to say. If you hear me breathing as heavy as I am. Lucky break. You like the skills. This is my limit. This is my limit. With almost 350 calories burned. After a full eight hour day of We'll say light, light physical labor, which probably was like another 200, 300 calories, if not more. Outside of what my body just burns naturally by existing. Okay. 
Almost. There. I think that was the last enemy fight. I think, anyway. Enemy fights aren't on. When you play this game, when you do, when you do stages, it's part of your daily, or part of an exercise site you set up. Enemy fights are not part of it. So, I don't think there's any I can only guesstimate to say that there's no more fights between here and the end. At least I'm fairly certain there's no fights between here and the end. Yay! Yeah. Because this gate... Good. This gate... And then... Another 50 feet to the goal. Drop your hips. Let's see what our final pulse is for the night. But yeah, this is the last thing I'm doing today. I have zero. I have all zero energy left in me. And that's definitely compounded by the fact that I need to eat something. Oh crap, light exercise. Full mess, I say. Buddy. Yeah, so I've got two stages before the boss. But no, I'm finishing here. I've got nothing left in the tank. I've got enough to do the after workout stretches, but that's it. 361 calories, 362 calories, we take that. Just, yeah, gander at all these stats that I've done today. Oh, and it goes from most amount to least amount, too. Alright, stretch it out. static stretching you won't need the ring con be mindful of your body and stretch within the range of how many this chair just in case they have me pull my your legs hands together in front of you position your glutes as if you're going to sit down then stretch your so hands yeah forward. this is the last of it for today for tonight rather bring yourself back slowly does Anybody have any questions they want to ask me before I end things off? Your upper body backward, but don't lean back um, more than is comfortable. Again, ooh. stay in a comfortable range. That feels good. Uh, I will say, for Bring Saturday's stream, slowly. for Saturday's stream, spread your feet, raise both hands, and hold your left wrist. While I want to start out wrist, to the with right, age of calamity side. and working towards trying to re 100% complete that game considering the DLC had at least one more mission for me to finish return to your original position if not multiple hands and bend the other way tilt directly to the side while taking care not to slouch but it's also going to be a lot of grinding 
because I need a little bit of materials and I need a little bit Stretch your left arm to the side. I need a little bit of materials with your right arm. in that game. I need some Hold money your arm and stretch to, the muscles of your left shoulder. Apparently to bump up the battle hardened or yeah, the battle hardened guardian. Now do the same on the opposite side. Slowly stretch out, but be careful not to bounce. Cause on apocalyptic on apocalyptic his learning the basic slowly. of him quest is put nigh unbeatable and put your hands on your hips Bend right now and that's at him at level 80 with a s like a base 55 power weapon anyway i'm delving into that way too much that's that's for saturday um so yeah now switch legs uh, so some time on saturday will be spent and do your best trying to get to get that to get age of calamity come 100%ed yet again bring yourself back slowly <sighs> um oh, it's and your stretching is complete good job if we finish that up in a reasonable amount of time and i feel like i want to stream some more we might try out pokemon unite see what that is all about basically what I did on, on Sunday. I couldn't do a damn thing on Sunday after pushing myself so hard for video, recording videos and all that stuff beforehand. So anyway, um, but yeah, I didn't see any questions from folks. I didn't see any questions from folks. So let me get all of this mumbo jumbo ecom bokum off my body. And then we'll see who is streaming right now and who we can raid. Now I may take control of the ship and just raid whoever I feel like tonight. But the plus side of... Oops, wrong thing. The plus side of streaming so early in the day compared to start well what I normally be doing starting right now. Is that Donna? I think that's Donna. It won't tell me who this is. Oh, no, there it is right there. there. Okay, anyway. So, choices. <sighs> choices for this evening. We've got... Okay, I'm going to exclude one entry here. Simply on, simply on the basis that... I don't want to... I don't want to raid this person because they're playing a game I would like to play more of in my spare time. Uh, they're playing Everhood, so. Uh, Tom Fox is playing Super Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. Scott Falco is playing Pokemon Unite. I might not raid him simply because I want to hold off on my impressions of Pokemon Unite for possibly Saturday. Uh, raid my good high school friend Barry Blitz Studios who is playing the original Psychonauts. Uh, I can raid Alan, who, Alan Edgehead, who is playing Yeast 2. Or we can, we can do a, we can do a switcheroo and raid Odin, who is going to be playing a Pazanadu Randomizer. And I kind of want to raid Odin, because he has raided me multiple times, and I've never been able to repay the favor, but I think now is the perfect time to do so. So I might, so unless somebody says something different out of what I said, we're going to go raid Odin tonight. this just so you guys 
don't hear anything that's about to happen here. Good. You guys can't hear a dang thing. Oh, good. He's just starting. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, we're going to go raid Odin. He is playing the Xanadu Randomizer. He loves the Xanadu. It's like Zelda 2, but with wonky physics. So let's go, I'm going to go raid Odin. So, thank you all for hanging out tonight. Yeah, thank you all for hanging out tonight. I don't know if you can hear that in the background. Um, but yeah. Saturday will be kind of a combo rombo day. Yeah, Saturday is going to be kind of a combo rombo day for what we do for, for content. But, I hope to see you guys then. Give Odin some love when you head over there. I'll pop back in in just a few minutes to chill with the uh, with the funky bunch, as they say. But yeah, thank you all so much for coming out tonight, and I'll see you around. Take care, everyone.